everyone. Welcome back. This is Ms. Dodd. I am so excited to teach y'all this week, but I'm so sad. This is our last math video. So I'm a little bit sad, but I am super excited to teach y'all about multiplication. That is super third grade material. So y'all are going to be super ready to go to third grade after this. So let's start with the problem in front of us. It says, Clarence sorts marbles into four groups. He puts four marbles into each group. How many marbles does Clarence have? So let's circle our groups. We have one group, two groups, three groups, four groups. That's four groups. And there's how many marbles in each? One, two, three, four. So it's four groups with four marbles. So we can put that into an addition problem together. Four plus four plus four plus four because there's four groups with four marbles in each. And that equals 16. So we know that Clarence has 16 marbles total. So let's move down to this next question and do it together. Rachel puts her markers in four rows. Each row has three markers. How many markers does Rachel have? So they've already drawn the picture for us. We can see there are four rows. One, two, three, and four. And we can see that there are three markers in each row. One, two, three, all the way down. So we can see on the bottom, they've set up our addition problem. As you can see, there's four blanks right here. That's because they said there were four rows uh, in the problem. And so in each blank, we need to put down how many markers there were in each row. So if we look back at the question, it said that she had three markers in each row. So we're going to do three plus three plus three plus three. Okay, I'm going to give you a minute. Think about it. What is the answer to this question? It's 12. Because three plus three plus three plus three equals 12. If you got three, or if you got 12, fantastic job. And if not, it's okay. We're going to do some more practice. I know you'll get it next time. So let me erase, and we're going to move down to the next set of questions. So the questions we're showing here, uh, just put it in a different format than we just saw with all of the addition. It breaks it down a little bit more. So let's do this practice problem together. When you multiply, you add equal groups. Okay. When you multiply, you add equal groups. Let's think about that while we work on this problem. There are, it says three vases. We can see the vases right here. There's one vase, two vase, three vase. Now, let's look and see how many flowers there are in each. There's one, two, three, four. This one has one, two, three, four, and this one also has four flowers inside. So there's four flowers in each group. So when it says when you multiply, you're adding equal groups, we can see that all of these bases are equal to one another because each base has four flowers. It's the same amount. One vase doesn't have five and one half six and one half four. They all three have four flowers inside of them. So we can write down that each vase has four flowers. So we can see that that equals 12. And if you wanted to, you could do the three lines for the three vases and we could add the fours in each and see that that equals 12 all together. All right, let's move down to these practice problems. Grab a pencil and a sheet of paper and try doing them with me. The first one says there are blank boxes of eggs. All right, count them for me. I can count one, two, three. 
Okay, there are three boxes of eggs. Each box has blank eggs. How many eggs does each box have? I'm gonna give you a minute to count them and then I'll let you know. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, there are six eggs in each box. How many eggs are there in all? You could sit and try to individually count each one of these eggs, or we could do another one of these problems like we saw above. So there are three boxes. So let's add three dashes. And how many eggs are in each box? Six. Okay, I'm gonna give you a minute and think about it and let me know what the answer is. Okay, if you got 18 eggs, you were correct. Okay guys, we have one more question to do. So let's read it together. There are blank baskets. All right, let's count them. One, two. There are two baskets. There are blank apples in each basket. I'm going to give you a minute. Count all the apples in each basket. Okay, I'm going to count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, there are seven apples in each basket. Okay, let's set up another one of those addition problems. So we have two baskets. And how many apples were in each basket? There were seven. I'm gonna give you a minute and think and let me know what the answer is. The answer you should have gotten is 14. There are 14 apples in all. Guys, I hope this video was super helpful to introduce you to what multiplication is like. And I hope this will help you in third grade. I'm so sad I don't get to do any more videos with y'all. And I am gonna miss y'all so, so much next year but I know you are gonna do great in third grade. Y'all have a wonderful summer and I will see you next year. Bye for now.